Hello and welcome back to the third installment of Chaotic Attractors and Maximus P. Today we're going to be looking at the Mackey Glass Equation, which is a one-dimensional differential equation. What makes it an attractor is we have this time delay variable. So it's just x, but delayed by a certain amount of time. And that's plotted against x, and that's how we get the attractor. So, it's a similar setup to normal. We have our noise. We only need one plane this time. Oh, and note that I have this position up here for the JIT DL handle. This is going to center it around where the attractor is going to be. So we have our noise. We're going to scale the noise with the gen. And we're just going to multiply it by 0.1 and then add 1. And then we need our matrix. can just copy and paste these. And this is where our equation is going to be. We're going to need a second input. And we're going to need our parameters. Oops. Ram A is going to be 1. Ram B is going to be 2. Param C is going to be 9.65, and DT is going to be 0 0.01. So now our input 2 is going to be the time delay. That's this X sub T, or whatever Greek letter that is. So we're going to take that to the power of C. Add 1 and divide it by that. Then we're going to multiply it by B. We're going to multiply X by A, and then subtract that from the first part. Like that. And then, of course, we want to multiply by DT and add it back to the X. All right. So that's the equation. We need to implement the time delay. So we're going to our, receive our metro. We're going to make a trigger bang bang. And the second bang is going to go to our matrix. But the first one is going to go to a counter. And this is what's going to index through the JIT dot matrix set object. I want the matrix count to be 200. Plane count is 1. Type is float 32. Dimensions are 50 by 50. So the index message tells it which index to write to. And then we want to add 200 to this counter. Modulo 200 to keep it within the 200 range. And then matrix output $1. This is going to tell it what to actually output. And this is what we need to plug into here. And we want a JIT.pack with the output of the gen and the output of this. And then we want our JIT.GL.mesh draw mode points. And we'll make them white. All right. 
Hopefully that worked. Let's see. Oh, uh, I put these in the same. I'm not sure that that matters. Where's our... Hmm. What did I do wrong? Sometimes you may need to save and reopen Max. I'm going to see if that works. Doesn't understand matrix output. It's output matrix. It's not matrix output. Huh? Some. Oh, I'm not putting the goddamn matrix in. Jesus Christ. There we go, maybe. Perhaps. Oh, it's going to take forever, isn't it? But there we go. I think that's working now. Wow, it takes forever to get going. Okay, hold on. Let me scale this by less. Let me not scale it. There we go. And then you're going to notice it takes a while to actually kind of form here because we have that time delay feedback in the loop. But that's just kind of the nature of this. But there you have it. That is the Mackie glass equation. You can see we're starting to get this kind of shape. Yeah. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video.